Harley. Oh, what a cute little puppy. Oh, and a mouthy puppy. We're gonna talk about that in a different video. In this video, we're gonna talk about potty training. So I got here at the same time the Guardian did, and so we came in together and we got to see her released out of her kennel. We let her outside and the Guardian immediately said, go out and go potty. Now, a lot of us, we use too many words when we're training our dog. I know, sweetheart, but we need to have, a, have you on the film, on camera. I'm too ugly to be solo. So what we want to do is introduce just the command word. And so what I do is, instead of saying good dog, if I say good dog when the dog sits, comes, lays down, eats, poops, and just looks cute, it means everything, so it doesn't mean anything. So what I do is when I take the dog outside, I don't say go potty because it doesn't understand what potty means yet. Oh yes, I know, I know, I'll give you more attention. So what I do is I take it outside, as soon as I recognize that it's going to start going potty, I say the word potty. I don't say good potty or go potty or the dog's name, just potty. Now once the dog has finished, and don't say it too loud, if you say it too loud, you'll interrupt them and they won't evacuate their bladder fully. Now, once they get done going potty, I stay within about 10 feet of them and I have a high value meat treat. Now for puppies, you can use kibble, um, but a meat treat is gonna be a little bit more desirable. So what I do is uh, when we go outside, uh, as soon as they get done going potty, then I would say potty again as I deliver the treat. Same time the treat touches their lips, they hear the command word potty, and that should happen within three seconds of them finishing going potty. So this connects the action with the command word uh, with the reward. And if you do that with enough repetition, then the dog ends up starting to go out pottying, expecting to get that reward. Where if they potty inside, nothing happens. They don't get a reward. Now, if you catch the puppy having an accident inside, a lot of people go over and chew the dog out. Don't do that. Well, the way that the dog will hear that is the human gets mad when I potty, but I have to potty a couple times a day. So the humans are irrational. So I'm just going to go and hide and potty instead of letting them know. So if you catch the dog mid potty, stomp your foot, make a clap, uh, say something really loud, and then go over and swoop up the, just pick up the pup. Uh, the pup, pup. Do not punish it at all because it doesn't know any better. Immediately take it back outside. And then hopefully it will finish. Now, a lot of people think the longer the puppy stays outside, the more apt they are to go. After five minutes, it's not urgent enough for them to go. And it's, there's a lot of distractions outside. Uh, frequently, I get a lot of people like, I put him outside, he was outside for 15 minutes, bring him inside, had a potty accident right away. Well, inside, I've already sniffed things. There aren't as many stimulation, uh, there's not as much stimulation here. So what I would do is the three times that a puppy uh, is gonna be apt to go, uh, right after waking up, yes, right after waking up, about 15 minutes after heavy playtime starts, not when they finish playtime, but as soon as they start rough, rough housing around, and then uh, about five minutes uh, after eating dinner. So um, during those three times, you wanna make sure you take your dog outside. What I also recommend is taking your puppy outside about every fifth, every hour, and just once an hour. And you have kids, so I'd make it a, a deal. And it's not just you put them outside, you put them outside, and I'm gonna show you a little trick, or tell you about a little trick, but you wanna stay near the puppy. So that when they go potty, you can say potty in a relatively not too loud of a voice, and then you want to be able to, when, as soon as they get done, I crouch down and I hold a treat out, and I pop it in the mouth and I say potty again. That, like I said earlier, that connects the action with the reward, so it has to be right after. Now, what you want to do after that, um, or what I like to do, is I like to train the dog to go to potty in a specific part of the yard, because you're going to find, when you have multiple dogs, they start killing your grass. So what I do is I take it out on a leash. I go to the area I want them to go potty. And don't, uh, don't fart around with the leash or inside too long because that's when accidents happen. So if you have to just put the dog on a leash and then just carry it outside, that's fine. I know, I know. And then we walk over to the far area. It should be far away from your door, like one of the corners away in your backyard. Once you get there, then have, uh, have a treat. And as soon as the dog goes, starts to go potty, you say the word potty. When it finishes, you give it the treat and say the word potty. And then you play with it a little bit. You know, scratch it, let it know that you're happy. Um, do that for a week. Every time the dog goes outside, go in the same area. Second week, go outside without the leash. Lead your dog over, or carry it there if you have to, over to that area. And then this time you're gonna have five treats. If the dog goes in the five foot area, circle around where you want it to go, the designated pooping area or peeing area, you get five treats. Each treat, the second the treat touches her lips, she should hear the command word, potty. Give her another treat, potty, potty. So this way, she's like, wow, if I go potty here, I get five treats. Now, if she goes a couple feet further away, but not in the five foot radius, she might get four treats. 
She goes just anywhere in the yard, she might get one treat. So we're giving her an incentive to go and, and a potty in the area that we want her to go. Uh, now, another old wife's tale is to rub your dog's nose in it. Uh, this has been clinically proven to make potty training two or three times harder than it needs to be. And it tells the dog that my human's irrational for some reason, just rubs my face in urine. Uh, if, if you can't catch your dog in the act or within about two or three seconds, they can't make the connection. So if your dog is in an accident, you come and pick up your dog and rub its nose in it five minutes later, they just think you're mean. So don't do that. Um, so taking your dog out, like I said, uh, right after eating, right after waking up, and right after heavy start of heavy play, and then once an hour, increases the odds that the dog is gonna be outside when it needs to potty, and then you get to reward it richly. Positive reinforcement is the best way to potty train your dog. I'm sorry, sweetheart. You okay? Yes, I know. It's a little puppy, so I'm going to use that puppy squeal anytime that I don't get what I want or something I disagree with something. Um, let me see. What else? Um, for potty training, we want to eliminate. Uh, don't feed the dog within three, uh, two hours of dinner time. Um, and then remove access to water about an hour before bedtime. Um, now overnight, um, puppies can really only hold their bladder about a, a one hour for each month that they've been around. So right now she's probably about two to three hour range. Now over at night, she's sleeping, so her system's dormant, so it's not as active. I know, it's so tough being a puppy. Um, so she'll be able to go longer, but you probably are gonna need to get up and let her out in the middle of the night. If, you, if she can go all night, that's great. You do not wanna have your dog having accidents. The kennel is very difficult to stop that problem. And so, if you do find yourself getting up in the middle of the night, it's three in the morning, it's halfway through, and you know, just kind of walk in there. If the puppy's up, take her outside, give her an opportunity to go. I know it's not convenient, but the more that you take your dog outside and use positive reinforcement, the faster you're gonna potty train them. And that's the number one thing that most puppy owners wanna get taken care of first. What do you say? What a cute dog. That's how you can potty train your puppy. Go ahead and press the button.